When the 10,000-ton 055 destroyer to aircraft carrier with a sword guard of the world, why China's major shipyards of welding and sweat, but more poured in that seemingly mediocre 7,000-ton 052D destroyer body. The game behind this and wisdom, far beyond the simple tonnage and firepower comparison, the Chinese Navy's choice is in the national strategic needs, economic affordability and technical maturity, a precision calculation of the optimal solution. 50 Todd destroyer, against the odds, road. It is the Chinese Navy to the deep blue process of pragmatism and wisdom of the embodiment. In the real money in the construction of the Navy, the cost is always a hard indicator that cannot be bypassed. A 055 destroyer cost as much as 6-8 billion yuan. This huge amount of money is enough to exchange for 1.5 to 2 single price of about 4 billion 052D. This huge price difference is not cold numbers. Behind the Navy budget cost ratio of the careful calculation, 55 is like a top luxury car, excellent performance but expensive maintenance. 052D is like a reliable and durable sub, enough to bear the heavy naval daily operation of the war preparations, patrols, long distance escorts, joint operations and the maintenance of the Navy. The 052D, on the other hand, is a reliable and durable sub that is capable of carrying out the heavy workload of the Navy's daily operations, such as war preparations, patrols, sea escorts and joint exercises. The precious money saved can be quickly transformed into more platforms such as the 054 frigate, which will grow the fleet size like a snowball on the chessboard of the vast ocean. The number of ships itself is a strategic force that cannot be ignored. This advantage of scale has irreplaceable value in terms of day-to-day -day presence in peacetime, rapid response in times of crisis, and sustained combat capability in high-intensity conflict. Converting limited defense budgets into maximized maritime combat power, the 052D's high-cost performance makes it a cornerstone of naval scale expansion. Although the 052D is slightly inferior to the 055 in terms of tonnage and the number of Patat tube units, it is a versatile player. The compatibility of its vertical launch system is excellent. Red Flag 9B air defense missiles, Hawk 18 sub-super combination of anti-ship missiles, and even the Longsword 10 land attack cruise missiles, can be loaded flexibly. Eagle 18 missiles unique, subsonic cruise, plus terminal supersonic breakout capability, making it a rival carrier battle group fear of the carrier killer. Its range far exceeds the general anti-ship missiles. Can be outside the enemy's defense circle to launch a fatal blow, from air defense and anti-missile to anti-ship sea control, and then to the land precision strike, the mission coverage ability is amazing. In the South China Sea and the East China Sea, where islands and reefs are scattered and the hydrology is complicated, 052D, with its 7,000-ton light body, has the advantage of maneuverability and flexibility that is difficult for a 10,000-ton ship to reach. When chasing fishing boats and dealing with unexpected situations, it can always react more quickly. It is like daily patrols in front of the house, and it is obviously not worth it to send out the aircraft carrier formation. 50 Todd's seaworthiness has also been fully verified. Whether it is in the high winds and waves of the Western Pacific Ocean or the Indian Ocean can be stable to carry out the task, and its deployment flexibility is much higher than that of the larger and more complex platforms. Its deployment flexibility is much higher than that of larger and more complex platforms. The rapid deployment of naval equipment is highly dependent on mature technology and efficient production capacity. 052D was born from the successful technology verification of the 052C and its platform design power system, and combat command system have long been honed over many years of construction and use. Workers are familiar with the construction process. From cutting steel plates to launching, the construction cycle of a 052D can be compressed to a stunning 10 months or so. This, dumpling, like construction speed, not only from the worker's proficiency, but also thanks to a high degree of standardization, modular design and advanced shipbuilding technology. Jiangnan Shipyard and Dalian Shipyard is a precision running industrial machine, a steady stream of 052D into the sea. On the other hand, the 055, which integrates a large number of cutting edge technologies such as all electric propulsion, integrated radio frequency system, and a new generation of combat command system, has a sophisticated and complex construction process, just like the assembly of a top-level work of art, and the cycle often lasts for more than two years. As of now, there are more than 38 052D series ships in service or launched, while the number of 055 is still hovering in the single digits. When dozens of 052D form a magnificent array, the formation of the scale of deterrence and sustained combat capability 
enough to make any opponent think twice. In the real maritime confrontation, the number itself is a powerful quality, which ensures the fleet's continuous presence in the vast sea area. The ability to replenish the battle damage in the high-intensity conflict, as well as the ability to respond to multi-directional threats synchronously. The Chinese Navy understands that every foot has its own shortcomings, and every inch has its own strengths. 055, with its powerful sensors, is the Core Air Defense Command node and area denial spearhead of the carrier battle group, specializing in high-end sea control tasks, and its powerful information fusion and command capability is the brain of the fleet. 50 Todd is like the diligent, multifaceted maritime commander, and the multifaceted maritime commander. The 052DL is like a diligent, sea versatile, more take up the fleet's daily air defense, anti-submarine vigilance, maritime rights and even medium intensity conflict in the main role. 50 Toddle improved and even lengthened the flight deck, specially adapted to the new domestic straight 20 anti-submarine helicopters, significantly improving the aviation anti-submarine capabilities. Direct 20 advanced anti-submarine sensors and weapon loads, combined with the ship's towed line array sonar, so that the 052DL has become a submarine underwater submarine chills, submarine hunter. More interestingly, some of the later batches of 052D equipped with a unique meter wave anti-stealth radar in the detection of stealth targets may have 055, temporarily does not have the unique secret skills. To become an important part of the fleet anti-stealth operations, this fleet structure of high and low collocation and complementary functions avoids concentrating all resources on a single expensive platform and optimizes the overall combat power. As a national weapon, the 055's advancement and sensitivity determines that it is almost impossible to appear in the international military trade market in the short term. The 052D, with mature technology, balanced performance and relatively affordable price, has the natural potential to become a starship in the international market. Thailand, Pakistan, Algeria and other traditionally friendly countries have long shown great interest in it. Looking at the international market, the price of the United States, Burke, class destroyer close to 1.5 billion US dollars, many countries are discouraged. 50 toad if you can be very competitive price and reliability of the performance of the market, those who are eager to enhance the regional anti-aircraft and anti-missile capability, but also by the budgetary constraints of the Navy, the attraction of the self-evident tonnage is never the only measure of the value of warships. 50 Todd's, Comeback, Road, is the Chinese Navy based on the complex strategic environment, resource endowment and operational needs to make a sober choice. It represents the mature technology to bring reliable power, scale effect of the formation of the strategic depth, as well as in the cost-effective ratio and combat power the delicate balance between cost effectiveness and combat effectiveness. When more than 30 ships of China Shield plow through the waves of the deep blue, what they constitute is not only a steel wall, but also the solid steps and profound wisdom of the Chinese Navy to go into the deep blue and to strategize the ocean. 50 Todd, with its huge number, balanced performance and excellent reliability, has built a solid foundation of the Chinese Navy's ocean warfare capability and has become the new era of offshore defense and combat capability. It has become a powerful support for the strategy of combining coastal defense and distant sea protection in the new era. Its existence enables the Navy to maintain strong regional air defense and anti-ship capabilities while devoting valuable resources to the development of the more sophisticated 055 and future carrier battle groups. This should be the old military maxim small size, can also contain a big wisdom to turn the tide. 50 Todd's story is a modern naval apocalypse about pragmatism, efficiency and the power of the scale, which silently tells the Chinese Navy in the rise of the road of reason and vision, 